Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Ryan, and this is The Groom, and we reviewed Thanksgiving as it is seasonally appropriate, and this is coming out on Thanksgiving? This is coming out on Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving. I can't believe you finally talked me into watching this movie. I like this movie a lot. <laughs> I can't believe there's three of these after watching the first one. I can't believe they made this into a trilogy. I'll admit I was unaware of the third one. I knew there was a second one. <laughs> Interrupting cat. Interrupting says cat. <laughs> um, all right, all right. Sometimes you worry because she only has three legs that she can get back down from places. But I'm very and thankful she's for you. Ah. So the movie opened up on the original Thanksgiving with a big old set of boobies, and these boobies are attached to a pilgrim. Why are they out? We don't really know. Do we appreciate them? Yeah, they're boobs. Thank you. And we find out that she's being chased and stalked by a killer turkey who also appreciates her boobs. Cut to now-ish, kind of, in the mm -hmm. future. It is Thanksgiving break and a bunch of stereotypical college kids are all getting ready to go out, have some fun, get wasted, I suppose. The one keeps talking about it. You have your typical jock, your typical party kind of guy, your typical whore, the devout virgin, and the nerd. All a good mix in a jeep. They are driving to go to their place to party where something happens to the jeep, they have to pull off and realize that they're, you know, okay because they have some tents, some sleeping bags, some beer, and Darren, our nerd, quote unquote, starts to tell a story as he finds out what town they're in. There is the legend of a killer turkey and fills them all in around the campsite. And um, while this is all going on, um, oh God, what was the dog's name? Flashy? Flashy. Flashy. I can't remember the, <laughs> the vagrant's name, but he has a frisbee dog named Flashy who pees on an ancient burial site of the killer turkey, which of course brings him back and he's very vocal about it. And very crude. <laughs> he's, he's getting peed on. He's not happy. Yeah. He's yelling, I'm pissed off while it's happening. So, of course, Killer Turkey stumbles upon the campsite. Things happen and they have to figure out a way to stop the Killer Turkey and uh, not die. And possibly they could have prevented the sequels, but they did not. Oh, God. So, we're going to leave it off here as it is spoiler free. What did you like about this movie? The turkey was the best part. The <laughs> puns and the vulgarity from this turkey. I don't know who played this turkey. You didn't really like it. Didn't really tell you, but that dude's whoever whoever you are, you sir are a genius. That the turkey made the whole the whole movie for me. It was just hilarious with all the puns, like all the all the Thanksgiving puns. The you're getting stuffed. <laughs> Or something was happening, and they're like, that's foul. <laughs> it's foul play. Ugh. I was like, oh, my God. Terrible. The puns were hilarious. The vulgarity of the turkey is really what <laughs> sold it for me. Yeah. And he's just pure evil, and I love I loved that I love that turkey. And I may watch a sequel, maybe. Perhaps. Perhaps. What was your favorite part? I really liked the that the dialogue was meant to be funny and stupid, and... Uh, <laughs> some of the running jokes were, were great like it just seemed like this whole inside joke that you got to be a part of because it was so ridiculous the John Benet Ramsey joke oh the John Benet Ramsey joke <laughs> so bad dear god um, <laughs> he messes it up so bad oh yeah I feel like <sighs> for it being such a low budget movie the effects were actually like pretty good. I commented while we were watching the movie that the blood looked really good. I loved the um <laughs> the song about best friends oh my God. with Darren and Billy. And it was just it made me think of South Park, uh -huh. honestly, like one of the you know, one of their songs. And it was just like that made it for me. It, it do what it was. It wasn't trying to be a serious horror movie. And that's my favorite kind. I I love comedy with my horror. I like this movie that they heard. They knew exactly what they were. They didn't try to be something they weren't. Mm -hmm. And I can appreciate that, even though the. All right. So the thing I didn't like was the acting was awful. 
I mean, okay, do you think underst- the acting was meant to be good, though? I understand that you want it to be bad, but there were just some parts in it where the acting was just too bad. I th- I, I just, I don't know. I mean, it, it's supposed to be cheesy, and I get that. But some of the, like, fake being cheesy acting was god-awful. <laughs> but it's just, I mean, this movie, it is what it is. It's a Thanksgiving horror movie. Like, I, would, I was going in here with low expectations. Especially when I found out there were three of them. <laughs> oh, God. This movie was just awful. Oh, but it was hilarious. I gotta give it that. It, it was freaking funny. But the acting was just god awful. Except for the turkey. The turkey acting was perfect. Spot on. Spot on. <laughs> what did you dislike about the movie? Um, For once, I was actually wishing for a little bit more backstory. They kind of gave a really, really fast rundown as to true. why the killer turkey was a killer turkey. But it, I could have definitely gone for a little bit more story, which is something I never say. Usually I'm just like, I just want to have fun. But like, genuinely, I would like to know. And I'm curious to know if they delve deeper into that in the second and third installments. So can't wait to find out. I'm open to watching those. We found this on Amazon Prime streaming for free. I mean, not really because I pay for Amazon Prime. But I wonder if the uh, sequels are also on there because that would be interesting. I think they were. I don't know if they were free or not. Stop sounding so defeated. (sighs) I just, I can't believe this movie was... Uh, what do you rate it? I think I would give this probably like a 2.5 out of 5. I really, really, really enjoyed it. I felt like for the budget they had, they did use it really well. I thought that the actors, even though you thought they didn't do a great job, I felt like they portrayed their stereotypes really well. And right. freaking Billy was hilarious. His whole... His, his big scene was great, and then he comes back kind of in different parts, and it's it's kind of like a beautiful ending to a story between him and Darren, which oh, was great. Oh, my God. I, I don't... I mean, this movie is what it... It is exactly what you think it's going to be. It's exactly what you think it's going to be. And on a sliding scale of this wasn't going to be a well-produced movie it wasn't going to have great acting and it wasn't the effects were surprisingly better than they I were thought great they were. Uh, especially the turkey was surprisingly better i thought it was going to be very gimmicky and look bad but it actually looked pretty good oh my god oh my god bonus like there is a part where the turkey dispatches someone and then is wearing his face and like pulling it off really well and no one suspects anything and I was dying the entire time because it was so ridiculous. <laughs> the hat. I loved it. The one part where um, uh, Kristen's dad's the sheriff and his wife's making him coffee and he's like, oh, this tastes like shit. And she's like, yeah, because of this. And holds up the coffee pot and, and there's, there's like a in poop it. in it. And he's like, oh, and oh. she's like, I want a divorce. <laughs> I was like, well, is that how that works? You it's just like it's exactly how that happens. You <laughs> shit the other person's coffee. There's no paperwork you file or anything. That's All right. a clean All break. Right. Ah! I will give this a three out of five because for what it was, it was pretty good. You know, for the low budget and the horrible acting and the probably not much thought that went into this movie. Like they say, Oh, we got a general idea, let's just go. It was actually pretty good. I have to, I have to admit, it was hilarious. Like, it was, it's meant to be cheeky and funny, and it nailed it right then and there. It was not scary at all, but it was hilarious. And it was gross. And it had a decent amount of practical effects, and the blood looked real, so. And the boobs looked great. And I would definitely have to give it a three out of five, so there you go. Nice. Have you guys seen this movie? What did you think out of the three movies? If you've seen them all, what's your favorite? We'd love to know. Do they go in depth more with the story as I'm craving or do they kind of just move on? And as they insinuated in the ending of the movie in space, question mark? Are two and three worth it to watch? Probably. No, they're going to be worth it for you to watch. Are they worth it for me to watch? Probably. (sighs) So... (laughs) 
What are you thankful for this year? Oh, God. I am thankful for our wonderful, wonderful subscribers and how engaged they are in everything that we do on social media, on my Twitch page, on the YouTube comments for stuff that we we release. I am eternally grateful and thankful for you guys. You. Uh, what are you thankful for? I am thankful for my wonderful family. My three-legged cat that is bouncing around here somewhere. She knocked the pillow over and now has made herself Oh my god, she's so cute. I am thankful for a yelling <laughs> cat. <laughs> I'm very thankful for you. I'm thankful for this horror community. I love my horror fam so much. Um, I am thankful for the friends we have made because of this horror, horror community. Like Brian. Just I cannot say enough great stuff about him he is literally the reason our channel our channel has gone from what you saw at the beginning which was not very good to what it is now for everything from you know recommending software and kind of like giving me a crash course in editing stuff i am i am very grateful for brian gatto and also just like being a super good friend and you know i mean the really cool awesome people we've met you know Jay from Blood, Bath and Beyond, Queenie, everybody has been so cool and such an awesome, this is such an awesome community, you know, everybody, you know, uh, Dan, Grandpa Horror, my fellow wrestling fans, love you guys. Our buddies from the horror show. Oh my god, yes. Cecil. Dice rolling. <clears throat> Dice. Uh, just the, the, the people that we've met through this have really make all the work that, you know, all the work that we put that we put into it worth it. I really, I really do, I really do enjoy this. As much of a giant pain in the ass as it is to edit all these videos for you, I do appreciate seeing the finished product out there and all the positive feedback we get. And people say, "Oh, you know, I really like what you did with the editing and blah 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 blah," and that makes me feel good because I have no, no film school, no AV club, no. I didn't know how to do any of this until we started doing it, and it's kind of just been learn as we go. We're Shit. super thankful that there's people that actually want to watch these videos. And yeah. that means the world to us. So thank you guys so, so, so much. Thank you to all of our horror fam. Even if we didn't shout you out, we love you so, so much. And if you have not yet, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Please leave a comment with your thoughts below. What are you thankful for this year? Let us know. What are you looking for? The kitty cat? Mm -hmm. She's on the pillow. <laughs> Uh, like the video if you did like the video, or you could like the video if you like killer turkeys. Don't forget to hit the button for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. Also, my solo as well as reviews with the groom are available in podcast form on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network, whom we are also so very thankful for this year. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Where can they find you? They can find me on Twitch under Repeat Ray Animator. You can also fi follow me on Twitter at Repeat Groom Ray. <sighs> Killer turkeys. Killer turkeys. I bet you we could probably find a horror movie like this for like every holiday. Challenge accepted. Oh God, there's going to be more of this. Yes. Pray for me. Meow. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank you.